Okay guys, I've got the LSR CS1S optical flow drone here. Okay, it's brushless and uh, I've got it already hooked up to the Wi-Fi. So I'll, do, I'll start a screen recording just so you can see what I see. Three, two, one. And as you can see there guys, that is the quality of the camera. Uh, definitely not 4K, which is to be expected at this price point. All these companies, uh, you know, they <laughs> advertise 4K, but to me it looks more like 720p. Very soft image, uh, there's not much sharpness at all in the image as you can see. But I'll take a few photos now, alright, we'll just take a few photos before I take off. Okay, so we've got confirmation there. Might have to do it from the app actually. Let's uh, try it from the app. Okay, so it works a little bit better from the app by the look of it. And we'll take another one there. All right, guys, so as you can see, you can probably hear it. It's a bit windy out here today. Uh, it's around 11.30 in the morning. But uh, we'll take this up and we'll see how it goes. They do claim uh, 18 minutes flight time. I'll just raise that camera as far as it can go. Now, before I take off, I'm actually going to uh, try to get a flight time here. So I'll click start. All right. And what we're going to do quickly is a calibration there. And let's put it up in the air. There we go. It's just uh, getting blown around with the wind. So I'm going to uh, kick it in third rate. I might as well start a recording. Alright, so I'll put a bit of footage there for you guys to see uh, during this video. I might not put the whole video with this uh, picture in picture, but as you can see, it's got a bit of a gust of wind here and the optical flow is working quite well. Let's take it up. Let's go out. So we can see a bit of... Uh, Wi-Fi PV there. I am taking a bit of a recording as well. So I've got it in third rate. Got brushless power here, rather than brushed. Flying nice and smooth. And very quiet too, being brushless. Okay, so you can lower the camera as well. Let's just do that now. Should be lowered, yep, as you can see it is fully lowered. Okay, let's bring that camera back up. I'm just letting go of the sticks. And as you can see, it's slowing down. It's trying to get its position even in this wind. Bring it down a little bit. It's pretty quick in uh, third rate. I'll try to kick it down a little bit. Go and rate one for now and see how it does. Rate one. There's some really bright LED lights, as you can see here. So far, yeah, she's flying nice and smooth. Very bright side lights as well. Easily visible throughout the day.
Wind's picking up a bit, so I'll go and rate two. So, the optical flow sensor on the bottom, the, cam the second camera on the bottom is working really well. As you can see, it's holding position, I'm not touching it. Let's see if we can trim that a little bit. Look at that. I can see why they tried to pass this off in that uh, demo video that it's like a GPS drone. It's holding position really good, guys. Look at that. Really nice. So let's try some flips. I'm going to stop that recording. So we've got some sort of uh, recording there. All right, I think we've got enough recording. So let's uh, try some flips. <laughs> okay. So you can do tricks with this one, being non-GPS. Uh, check that out. <laughs> with a roll, it actually <laughs> looked like I'd done a 360 turn, or just about. It sort of yawed and then yawed its way back. Backflip. Okay, so you can actually, where is it? <laughs> you can actually do some stunts on the go. I'm pushing full forward pitch. Nice. This is a nice park flyer, guys. Very affordable and cheap, too. Yes, it's not GPS, like this particular vendor stated it was, but uh, as you can see, that uh, optical flow lock was quite impressive. Reminds me a little bit like the Rise Tello, how good the optical flow positioning was with that. Look at that, guys. It's really good. Start some more recording. Now I can see jello in that camera. So the camera is not the best. I'm gonna bump it up to three. We've got a bit of wind here, guys. See if I can do another flip on the go. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, the gusts of winds are uh, picking up now. Let's uh, send it up. And uh, even up there, oh, it's drifting a little bit now, but it did hold its position. Let's see what happens. It's getting taken by the wind, but you can see that the Optical flow camera is still trying to keep its position the best it can up there. So see what sort of flight time we can get. I don't think we're going to get the 18 minutes that they're uh, stating because it's only a 1S battery and uh, it's 1800 milliamp hours. And it's got to power not only the Wi-Fi you know, system and the drone itself, the motors, ESCs, but it's also got that optical, uh, sorry, not optical, avo the obstacle avoidance system on the top and the optical flow camera on the bottom too. Okay, this does have headless mode. Let's uh, see if I can try that one out. I think it's a quick press. Nope. I think I have got it on actually. Let's get out of that. <laughs> Looks like we've got some uh, flashing lights now. Oh no, the flashing lights are because I actually uh, turn the obstacle avoidance, uh, the headless mode on, sorry. All right. So as you can see, the Wi-Fi is kicking in and out. I think this is running on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not 5G. Uh, see if we can change the camera. It says in Chinese, there's a prompt there, so probably can't 
change it. But uh, as you can see there, the uh, obstacle flow is quite good on this one. Uh, try to get a thumbnail of it. That's pretty impressive, guys. It is acting as if it's got a GPS system in it. I mean, I'm not touching it. It's starting to drift a little bit now, but overall, you see, I'm not touching it. That's a pretty decent lock. Just by that little camera on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna turn the recording off now. Maybe take a few more pictures while we've got some battery life. Okay, so we've got a low voltage alarm. I expect it to land soon. But overall, I mean, this is a great park fly, guys. Got no complaints the way it flies. Especially for the price. I mean, very inexpensive drone. Now this does claim to have gesture, video and photos. I'm not going to bother with that today. And the obstacle avoidance as well. Um, I have found that the infrared obstacle avoidance doesn't particularly work that great on these drones. It's not the laser guided one. That you see like a little camera swiveling around all the time. They tend to work but... I've reviewed a couple of toy grade brush drones that I got off AliExpress that had the same infrared 360 obstacle avoidance module that this one happens to have and yeah they failed outside when I tried them out. Um, in, indoors they do tend to work a bit better but it's a bit of a gimmick. But I am impressed by the optical flow camera that on this one on the bottom. Got a pretty decent uh, LVC warning too. Got a magpie here. And those lights on the side, nice and bright. Great for orientation as you can see there. So yeah, we've got that warning system. Apparently this has a 100 meter geofence. <laughs> the uh, magpie is actually threatened by it. You see it was swooping it. So it's gonna land. Not quite. Not yet. Yeah, I must be getting too close to some of the trees where these magpies are nesting. I'll try to stay away from the trees, they're getting a bit threatened, I think. Okay, it looks like she's trying to land. I'll try to keep it up as long as I can. Nah, she's landing now. We've got quick flashing lights and she shut off. Stop. All right, so we've got 12 and a half minutes on my watch. Okay, so that's pretty decent, guys. I'm going to turn this off now. So we've got 12 minutes, 35 seconds on my watch there, guys. So that's pretty decent. I knew we weren't going to get the 18 minutes that they claim. The simple fact that this is a pretty small 1S LiPo, but uh, they're pretty impressive that it can power a brushless drone usually you typically get 1s lipos with you know the toy grade brushed uh, quadcopters but uh, overall pretty decent little drone guys let me know what you think in the comments below i mean considering the price uh this one i think is around 50 us dollars with three batteries 
or thereabouts, give or take a few dollars. But I paid seventy-one dollars, I think it was, with the three batteries. And I'll tell you what, you know, in twenty twenty-three, they're bringing out some great value drones. Uh, when I first started the hobby, late two thousand fifteen, um, before you know doing this whole YouTube thing, you know, X five C from SEMA costs more than this one does, you know, and that was very basic, uh, you know, quadcopter brushed had zero to little features, only like a addition of a 0.3 megapixel camera, I think it was, but no apps with uh, features on there and no Wi-Fi FPV or anything like that, no sensors, and you know, even the camera is better these days. But uh, yeah, guys, I have to recommend this one because it did impress me, especially the optical flow camera. She sat there pretty good, as you can see, and it is quite windy today. You probably can't tell by the trees but I'm feeling the gusts of wind uh, you know in, in my face so uh, you probably could hear a bit of the wind during this video through my camera but uh, yeah pretty decent little drone guys if you're in the market for a great little park flyer on the cheap you know it's not going to burn a hole in your wallet I'd say go for this one um, if you don't mind you know the camera quality camera quality isn't the best I think it's like 720p uh, it's very soft sort of image but you know for a park flyer to learn on I think this is uh, a great little option so I'll leave a link to a different vendor that I uh, didn't purchase from in the description below an honest vendor on AliExpress and uh, you can check it out there guys they've also got the one two and three battery option uh, depending on your budget I'd say personally go for the three battery option as we can see we got about 12 and a half minutes so times that by three you're gonna get nearly 40 minutes of flight time and you're gonna have a lot of fun down at the park and learning how to fly a quadcopter like this plus it has that you know mini 3 pro look so looks pretty cool as well lots and lots of LED lights as well so this would be a good one to fly at night so anyway guys thanks very much for watching this review on the LSRC S1S optical flow obstacle avoidance brushless drone and I'll catch you on the next video